Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel All About BI and this is going to be a very basic session on uh, how do we n uh, name a file uh, in the sync whether it is a copy activity or data flow activity how do we go about it that's what I'm going to tell you today so the use case is very simple I have a um, container in which I have uh, input.xlsx so my requirement is to um, pick this file uh, it need not be in the uh, data like storage it can be anywhere okay so our requirement is to copy a file from one location and place it in another location with a different name and that name has to come dynamically okay that's what we are going to see how to do today all right so my pipeline has a variable which determines the file name okay this is what i'm going to be seeing after my pipeline is completed right my file name will be something like uh, it starts with file name ends with dot csv in between i should see current date in the format mmdd -Y 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 -Y. okay so this date is going to be generated dynamically and my file name fi final file name will look like this so as you can see here my input file name is input.xlsx and uh, the name that i want to give after copying is this okay so basically a copy and rename is going to happen how do we do that in copy activity uh, that is what i'm going to show you now so let's take a copy data activity and then source will be source will be uh, the same source that i showed you now which is nothing but the xlsx file okay if i open the data set you will see that sync is nothing but uh, i want to copy this to a output folder um, with the name that i'm going to pass on okay so i'm using this particular data set if you see the data set what i'm doing here is i'm just adding a file name portion here uh, in the parameters i'm adding a parameter name called file name and then using that in the file name part of it okay and as you can see here azfs is my container name and in the output folder i need to see my uh, file name okay but file name should come dynamically from the pipeline that is why i'm parameterizing here in the data set all right so the moment i use this data set in the sync it will be asking for the file name parameter because the delimited text to data set it is having a parameter name called file name that is why whenever we make use of it anywhere it will be asking us to provide a value for that parameter i am adding dynamic content in our case it's going to be the um, value that is coming from my variable okay so uh, this is how it is going to work in the copy data activity so the moment i run this right you will be seeing a uh, file name that is generated by the set variable activity I have run my pipeline now and then we can see the file getting created in the output folder okay with the same name that we have given in the expression file name a suffix by dot csv in between we are seeing mmdd -Y 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 -Y. okay so this is how we do it in the copy activity all right how do we do it in the data flow it is little bit different so i'm adding a data flow and i'll show you how to do that uh, for a data flow right in order for us to uh, pass the value from outside data flow which is nothing but our set variable activity in that case i i am computing some expression in a set variable activity and i need to pass it on to the data flow if that is the case the first thing that we will be doing is uh, to create a parameter inside the data flow so this is going to be my data flow source will be my um, xlsx file sync will be my csv file <coughs> I'm choosing delimited text to two. Okay, so source and sync I have decided. If you click on the data flow, uh, if you come outside the data flow and click on the data flow activity, right, you will be asked to provide the file name here. Okay. We can uh, choose to pass on a value from here. Okay, by just clicking on the variable, variable name. But then uh, we should be telling the data flow. To use that variable name right so in the sync if you go to settings there is an option by default it will be default under file name option what that means is it will be giving a uh, guide value to the file name it will be a random text uh, to the file name which is created or copied or generated okay 
uh, if you want to make use of a specific file name that is coming from outside data flow what we need to do is we need to choose this output to single file and the moment you choose this option you will be asked to set single partition so i am clicking on that button and then once you do these two things one is choosing output to single file and set single partition and then we will be asked to provide the file name here okay so if you click on the dynamic content here you will not be seeing the um, variable name anywhere here okay so if you can see input schema you can see parameters what parameters are these is data flow parameters okay so there is no way we can tell the data flow uh, to use the variable name that is coming from outside um, data flow so what do we have to do that for that is we have to add a parameter i will say param file name this parameter is data flow parameter i am clicking outside the data flow uh, elements or activities and then clicking on new and then creating a parameter so what we have to do is go back to the pipeline click on the data flow you will be seeing parameter tab here in the parameter tab i am clicking and choosing pipeline expression in the pipeline expression i can see variables here and then we are done i am choosing the variable name and saying okay so that's it so uh, the uh, sync right uh, even though we are passing um, the name via data set parameter outside data flow you are seeing two things here one is in the settings you are passing the file name um, to the data set parameter in the parameter you are passing the variable to the data flow parameter so here you see data set parameter here you see data flow parameter i think the precedence will be going to the data flow parameter okay so let us delete this option for now and see if data flow parameter works because in the sync right uh, in in the sync settings we have chosen output to single file and in the output to single file we are choosing the parameters which is nothing but the one which we created right now so it will be coming as dollar param file name okay and i'm saving and finished and then i'll switch on the data flow i'll run the pipeline even though we are not passing any value to the data set parameter this is going to make uh, the job done for us okay let, let it uh, uh, come up the debug session should come up and then i'll run the pipeline and see if it works or not uh, data flow debug is up now i have removed the file name part that we have passed on the uh, passed value to the data set parameter right the moment i removed the value or expression it is saying no value provided for the parameter file name so for testing purpose i am just giving an empty string so we have to test whether empty string is going to be passed in the file name or the actual variable value okay let me um, quickly delete the file that is there in our destination so that we can verify if this works or not i am running my pipeline pipeline has uh, completed execution and if i go and check in the container right we are seeing the uh, file being created with the name that is generated by the variable name so just keep in mind uh, how do we approach uh, naming a file from a data flow using a data flow parameter uh, if you have any questions about this you can let me know in the comment section and if not uh, i request you to subscribe to my channel if not already done thanks a lot for watching keep supporting